Good morning, Margaret Newmeli here. Welcome to my podcast. I am the author of the Another Dimension series, which includes an, uh, the Ultimate Amalgam, uh, Tales of Captain Neutra, Worlds Go Light, Perfection, Other Dimensions into Light. I'm here doing a podcast of the hymn book Savior of the World. And today is the most holy trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit who has uh, revealed himself to us. God has revealed himself to us. When the Lord Jesus Christ came to work, he showed us that he is the Son of the Father. And that means God is Father, and we are in the Son. And the communion that we have with him is in the Holy Spirit, Abba Father. Homage to the most holy trinity. Trinité Sainte, chef de toi, et je t'adore dans mon cœur, et je t'adore dans mon cœur, sous ce divine, j'ai soif de toi, ô pain de vie, rassasie-moi. Trinité Sainte, j'ai faim de toi, et je t'adore dans mon cœur, et je t'adore dans mon cœur. Oh, oui, oh, mi, que coche, The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. And no man has seen God at any time, but the only begotten Son, who is in the bosom of the Father, he has declared him. Then the Lord Jesus Christ uh, lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, glorify your Son, that your Son also may glorify you, as you have given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him. And this is life eternal, that they might know you, the one tr true God, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. And when the Lord Jesus, on the day of the ascension, the Lord Jesus Christ uh, said to the, his disciples, the apostles, All power in heaven and in earth, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go you therefore and make this uh, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always unto the end of the world. Amen. <laughs> And great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh and he was justified in the spirit. He was seen of angels and believed and preached to the Gentiles, believed on in the world, receives up into glory. Now, in this most holy trinity, we're saying that uh, God, um, in the past, the people of Israel, the Lord uh, revealed himself to the people of Israel as Yahweh, as God, and the people also of the world, the Gentiles, and you, 
God, but they did not know him as the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. It is when the Lord Jesus Christ came, he came to give us an understanding uh, to know the true God and that we are in the true God. He didn't only come to say that God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, um, but he showed us our inclusion in the Most Holy Trinity, that uh, he is the Son of the Father and we are in the Son and so that is the reason the purpose why God created man that we should be conformed to the image of his son who is the firstborn among many brethren so he came to declare uh, his father to us and that we are in him the Lord Jesus Christ his son and so God is our father and so we have he gave us the Holy Spirit the, the spirit of the, who proceeds from the father in the son and this spirit also so he dwells in us so we can call God Abba Father the same as the Lord Jesus Christ calls him because it is the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ who cries in our hearts Abba Father and so we are we are seeing uh, in these passages how that uh, God, uh, the Lord Jesus Christ, came to reveal that God is Father and He is Son of the Father. And there is the Holy Spirit who is a communion, the bond of love of the Father and the Son. Our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, obeys the Father wholeheartedly and we are in the Son, our Father. And so... Um, and then when the angel Gabriel came to Mary and Mary was wondering, uh, uh, how shall this be? And the angel answered saying, uh, the Holy Ghost shall come upon you and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Therefore, that holy thing that shall be born of you shall be called the Son of God. And when the Lord Jesus was baptized, he came out of, or he came from, uh, uh, from Na Nazareth of Galilee, uh, unto to, and was baptized by, uh, by John in the in the Jordan, and straightway coming out of the water. He saw the heavens open and the Spirit of God descending like a dove, and he uh, he rested on him, and then uh, the, he heard, and there was a voice that came out of heaven saying, "You are my beloved son." in you I am well pleased. So we see that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that are working together, uh, the most holy trinity. And John also bear record and said, I saw the Spirit um, uh, descending uh, descending from heaven like a dove, and he abode on him. I knew him not, but he that sent me to baptize with water said uh, that upon whom you shall see the Holy Ghost descending and remaining, he is the one, the same is the one that baptizes with the Holy Ghost. And I saw and I bear record that this is the Son of God. Amen. And so the Lord Jesus, when he began also in ministry in Luke, he says that uh, the spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to preach the good news to the, to the poor. Um, he has sent me to uh, bind the brokenhearted, uh, to preach uh, deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind, uh, to, to set at liberty them that are bruised and to uh, preach the acceptable year of the Lord. So that is his mission. He has come to save us. Salvation has become man and has saved us unto, uh, uh, from the inside out, even unto the uttermost of our Father. And he has shared his happiness with us, as Dr. Sean Smith said. He has made us sons of God. This is the highest vocation. This is what we should uh, uh, aspire to. This is what uh, we have already we have already a vocation it is to be the son of God like uh, in the image will be conformed to the firstborn Jesus Christ our Lord Amen. and now our uh, we are seeing the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit and uh, and when we don't if the passages they're not we don't hear about the Holy Spirit the thing is that the Spirit of uh, the, the Father and the Son they have one Spirit the communion that they are one it is the Holy Spirit that uh, makes them one so the will of this the Father is the is the the will of the Son is the also the command of the Son the Son does whatsoever the 
father um, uh, desires and the father loves the son and, and he shows him all things that he himself does that uh, and and greater words shall uh, shall shall he show should greater word than these uh, shall he show unto him that you may marvel for as the father raises up the dead and quickens them so also the son quickens whom he wills <laughs> That men should honor the son the same as they honor the father. Uh, he that honors not the son honors not the father who sent him. Amen. And John the Baptist also said also that, uh, yes, uh, he that is of God, he that is from above, he speaks the words of God. For God does not give him the spirit by measure. Uh, John the Baptist that was, he was testifying about Jesus. So uh, the father loves the son and has given all things into, into his hands. He that believes in the son has everlasting life. And so also the Lord Jesus continued also to say that, uh, Verily, verily, I say unto you, um, He that believes, on, he that hears my words and believes on him that sent me has a everlasting life and does not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. And verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live of a Father. For as the Father has life in himself, so also the Son has, he has given the Son to have life in himself. So, the the son the the, we, the thing is that the father loves the son and he and the son enjoys all the benefits that the father has he doesn't uh, we say that he obeys the father because the will of the father is so beautiful and if you see uh what the father wants for us it is so beautiful and so the son is uh, he obeys and that is how in he came he became man and when he died he rose from the dead and also he made us sons of god in the resurrection of jesus christ that is when all humanity is born into god it was to bring us to glory that he he had to suffer that he came to to be a man and to complete this is the plan the father son and holy spirit it even before the creation of the world they they agreed that this is what they're going to do in order to to they created man in and and that man should be in the son of god in jesus christ and so we become the sons of god and he becomes our father but there we are in jesus christ he's not the father of individual sons he's the father of our lord jesus christ and we are in jesus christ and so uh he has many sons in christ jesus and the holy spirit is the one who bears witness of a father and we continue uh, by saying the Lord Jesus said that all things are delivered unto me uh, of my father and no man knows the son except the father and no man knows uh, uh, the father except the son and he to whom the son will reveal him. And Peter also, uh, uh, when he was speaking to uh, Cornelius, he said, God, God anointed uh, Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good and healing all them that were oppressed of the devil for god was with him he didn't just come to reveal us that god is father son and holy spirit he came to include us into god he revealed himself he it's not like he revealed himself that he, he is the son of the father and we are ex excluded no this is he came because he revealed himself as the son of god yeah, he's the son of the father and that we also are in him that we should know God as our father as he says that uh, this is life eternal that we should know the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you, he has sent and uh, we are in Jesus Christ you know that he is son of God and so the only true God father we are sons of God in in Jesus Christ and he is our father amen now, uh, <laughs> so uh, let's continue. Uh, in Hebrews, uh, Paul says that, uh, the, the author to the Hebrews says that, God who at sundry times and in diverse manners spoke to the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by his uh, son, his dear son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. 
No, in the past, he spoke, he, God, yeah, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He revealed himself as a... Uh, the God of, uh, yeah, but and then now when the G Lord Jesus Christ has come, He has revealed Himself as the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, and that we are in Jesus Christ, His Son. And so, uh, He says that, um, our, our <laughs> unto the Son, to which of the angels said He at any time, You are my Son, this day I have begotten you. And again, you shall be unto me, uh, I shall be unto you a father, and you shall be unto me a son. And again, when he brings in uh, the first begotten from the dead, when he brings in the first begotten into the world, he says, let all the angels of God worship him. Unto the son, he says, thou, O God, uh, your throne, O God, uh, are forever. Um, you, your throne, O God, is forever, and the scepter of your kingdom is the scepter of righteousness. You have loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore, God, even your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. And you, uh, Lord, you laid the foundation. In the beginning, you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the works of your hands. And so this is the commandment that the Father has given unto the Son, that uh, all things are, are, He has given Him power over all things, and has to give eternal life to as many as He has uh, given Him, Abba Father. Now I'm going to sing uh, the first thing, uh, the first song, uh, uh, You Are My Son, is a song that I wrote, uh, the first chapter, uh, the first seven chapter song, one, to see the relationship of the father and the son, and also uh, the father speaks to the son and the son's obedience to the father, and then we're going to sing our love for the father, <laughs> Abba Father. You are my son, it is I who have begotten you this day. You are my son, it is I who have begotten you this day. Acts of the nations I will give to you. The ends of the earth is your heritage. The Almighty has sworn he will not change. You are my son forever, according to my heart's desire. You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. I have burst my son upon the holy hills. From the creation you have always been. I will declare the decree of the Almighty. He said to me, you are my son. Today I have become your father. You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. I have burned my son upon the holy hills. Before the creation you have always been. I will declare the decree of the Almighty. He said to me, you are my son. Today I have become your father. You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. Sacrifice and offerings thou wouldest not, but a body you have prepared for me. And said, I lo, I come to do your will. In the volume of the book it is written of me. You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. You are my son. It is I who have begotten you this day. 
Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, according to the, the, the commandment of God, separated unto the gospel called by called uh, separated unto the gospel of God, um which he had promised before uh, by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures concerning his son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who of the seed, who was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, but declared to, uh, declared to be the Son of God with power according to the Spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. Amen. And um, uh, John says that there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, uh, the Spirit, the, uh, the water, and the, and the blood. And these three agree in one. Who is he that overcomes the world, but he that believes that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Uh, even Jesus Christ, uh, who was uh, who came by water and by blood, even Jesus Christ, he did not come. He he came not by water only, but by water and blood. And it is the Spirit that bears witness, and the Spirit is truth. Abba Father. Grace be unto us, and mercy and peace from God the Father, and from the, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. And, and also, our, the love of God has been shed abroad, is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, who is given unto us. And this is our love. We show up. Uh, the Father is not only for the Son, He's also for us. The Lord Jesus Christ has come to make us one with Him and so one with the Father. And we are sons of God in Jesus Christ. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called the sons of God. And when the fullness of time had come, God sent for His Son, made of a woman, made under the law, to redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption adoption of sons and since we are sons God has sent for the spirit of his son into our hearts crying Abba Father grace be unto now John the evangelist to in Revelation to the seven churches that are in Asia uh, grace be unto you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from his, the seven spirits that are before his throne and from Jesus Christ the faithful witness uh, the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth to him that loved us and washed us in his blood and has made us kings and priests unto God even his father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Uh, we believe in you, uh, O Lord. Father, Lord of the heavens, our eyes are lifted to you. Father, you looked for us, you came and said your role. We acknowledge that your love for us is great. And we recognize that you became our life. And today we won't fear, for you have shown us your heart. We will put our trust in you, for you, O oh Lord, are true. We believe in you, O oh Lord, that your love for us is great. We believe you sent your Son to be a Savior. Father, God of the earth, 
your children call unto you father you are faithful in christ all men shall live you have abolished sin at the cry of the poor you have healed the sick set the prisoner free and today we rejoice for you have made us your sons we will put our trust in you for you O lord are true we believe in you O lord that you love for us is great you believe you sent your son to be a savior we believe in you O lord that you love for us is great we believe you sent your son to be a savior and we have seen and do testify that the father sent the son into the world to be uh, the savior of the world abba father Thank you for watching this podcast. Uh, happy Feast of the Most Holy Trinity. Blessed with all blessings in Christ. All things are become new. Thank you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with us all. Amen.